So how many wise cards do you say accept this, this faith for beginning the week? One, a couple of ones. Okay. So what we are trying to do is uh, we don't want to be dependent on a DB engine um, long term just because we don't know whether I can actually plan for the future my square. It's kind of nice to be in charge of your own destiny. So a couple of years ago, I actually started already planning this, and um, when Oracle bought in Adobe, we basically started uh, with a small group uh, to create the Maria project. And uh, for those who doesn't know, my, my skill comes from my daughter, Mai, um, actually pronounced me, and uh, Maria is my youngest daughter, so it was appreciate. She was kind of wanted that to have also be remembered in history in some way. So what we are trying to do, we are create, trying to create an um, asset trans transaction engine that we, with the goal to both replace uh, my ISAM, my ISAM hasn't been updated in years, but also be something that we can give uh, uh, in the DB and other storage engine a good run for the money, and actually be a default storage engine in MySQL. And, uh, so, uh, so my school is promoting two storage chains. Falcon, who has uh, been promoted for years, but uh, uh, we probably still continue to promote it for, for some years, I believe. And then we have Maria that uh, we, we, are, we are working on. We are basically have different goals in, in, in that um, we're trying to be uh, so something that you can run um, similar to you run today, today with my ISM and uh, in a DB with, with one engine and also um, to be able to do, do things like that was my answer was designed for but we never had time to, to do uh, really as good as we hoped for with basically with data warehousing and Falcon on the hand is basically designed for some new goals when you when you have a, a in memory database and you have lots of RAMs and, and lots of CPUs and in, in, in some cases, it's good that we have different, end, different goals because that means just we can satisfy a bigger market. So these are the guys who are working on it. We are working on, on this quite a lot of time, actually, but not full time just because that happened so much things in my school um, before San Bortos and after San Bortos. So, um, we haven't been able to put as much time on it as we would have liked to. But we are doing quite good progress and we have uh, already some releases out and we, we basically have uh, less than half a year to, to do something that actually should be a full um, future engine by time. We'll come to that uh, soon. So we are five developers and one QA guy who's working on this. And most of us is no just uh, working more or less full time on it. So, what's the project plan? So we have uh, we want we have MySQL file one. We have uh, available with Maria as a release. We had in January two thousand eight, about the same time as Sun announced that it would acquire us. We released the, the, the first version uh, to them. To, be, uh, to so anybody can use, and uh, we are about to do a beta in February in the, the, for the 1.5, which is basically a, a, a concurrent um, insert select uh, release, which basically means that it's like my ISM, but, it's, uh, but you can also do insert concurrently, but you can't do in my ISM, and it has full recovery. And it also has internal version in the transaction minutes. We have all the pieces that we need to do go to the final step, but we also wanted to uh, show, give something out and get it tested uh, during the way and not just try to deliver everything in one step because that's just usually too much to do. So we are quite close to beta. We have we had hoped to have a beta much earlier, but uh, there's been some internal conflicts in Sun that basically has stopped us from getting a release. And we have also, I also wanted to have a zero bug, um, serious, serious, serious bug 
bugs in, in the, even in the beta, and we have one bug from, from that. And that's basically my, uh, my table, and hopefully I will be able to collect it within one week or so. And after that we can go to go beta. And uh, this uh, 1.5 is already part of the 6.0, so if anybody is trying to use the 6.0, you can already use Maria in that. So basically the one that, that we're going to release is 5.1 with Maria. We're going to uh, do updates on it. Uh, for the foreseeable future, so you actually have something that you can use. And it, that's basically MySQL 5.1 plus some small enhancements plus uh, Maria. And of course you can use it without Maria also if you want to. And uh, then we will have the 6.0, which is, which is uh, basically 5.1. And we are already working on Maria 2.0, which basically will be something that is uh, more or less in par with DB when it comes to features. And that should, uh, uh, we are basically, the timetable here is somewhat optimistic, but they're also quite realistic. realistic. And we also have uh, lots of plans for future to enhance it with new new kind of ind index types to get it more um, useful for data warehouse. And the, uh, just uh, note about this slide, it says, as you see in the Maria team, that we haven't got any official statement from Sun or the MySQL group of how the release will be, will be done. My view is that I want to prov provide something that is useful now and in the, in the future. And MySQL's current policy of doing previews that you then let people test and then you remove, remove is not something I approve of. So this is something that we basically as a team says that this will be available, it will always be available, we will continue to doing uh, fixes to it, even in the future. So there will be no differentiation or anything else on this code. So uh, I, I will try to provide some background of um, provide understanding of what we are trying to do and the basic ideas of why we are doing this. And also how it compares to my ISM. Because the, the Maria one file from the outside it looks kind of like my ISM. Inside it's kind of completely different. So what we, we wanted to have as goals when we set up the project. We want to do multi-versioning because that seems to be the way that most engines does it nowadays. We want to be a MyISM replacement, better than MyISM, and uh, add those ideas that I had wanted to try for years but never had time to do. We, we already use it in, for internal temporal tables, and Maria has some feature that actually makes my all MySQL queries that use this bigger results actually are faster in the Maria release, just because we use Maria as the default engine. And, it, and the main reason it's faster is that uh, the Data, we now have also a cache for data. And instead of my, my, my ISM, who always writes, writes rows directly to disks. So we can be able to keep all the temporary sets completely memory. We are just some, somewhat faster. Uh, and some of the goals that we have done is something we haven't seen in any other engine. We, um, in, in the DB, it's actually really good compared to other commercial uh, engine that you can actually handle real long transactions, which when InnoDB was created was qu quite unique in the database world. And if you, for example, if you're an Oracle, if you try to do too many updates, you get out of commit space or rollback space or some similar. So InnoDB can actually handle long transaction, but it does it in such a way when the log file space fills up what you, what you pre-create when it fills up, it starts to use the database uh, space for storing the transaction, which makes InnoDB really, really slow. It works, but it's really slow. In Maria, we didn't want to have that, so we wanted to ba basic, basically allow any, any long transaction. So you can go, you can start transaction, then you go out on your yearly tr six uh, weeks vacation to Hawaii and when you go back, you can continue as nothing before. It's, it should still work. We want to allow log shipping. Basically, you can take backups of uh, Maria just by copying the logs. You can also rep replicate everything that Maria is doing by just running the log. And all of those, these things that I described here already works. 
And then your Mania can also be used as a standalone library. So basically, you can use this as a BDB library and everything, or something similar. Uh, we still need to do a cleaner API for that, but we already internally, we are running tests as uh, in our system with Maria as a library and also in, inside the MySQL. So we know that that part works. Some other goals. Uh, with a lot of, uh, for a lot of users who really like the feature in MySQL, you can just take one table and copy it to another system and it just works. You can do the same thing for Maria, as long as you just do a flush tables and don't touch the table while you, while you are copying it. Or if you take MySQL down, you, everything is just copyable and um, will automatically detect if you have one table for one system and copy it to another one. We will detect on the first access that, hey, this is copied, and then we go, uh, we'll go and remove all the transaction IDs that makes the table unique for that system. So we have kind of uh, triggers for that. We are much better blob handling than my ISM, so uh, it makes, basically makes my ISM, uh, Maria much faster than my ISM for blobs. We do that by just doing more clever allocation. Uh, we, like in my ISM, we, we, we can do instant select count. But what is uh, new in Maria, we also uh, store and have a version on checksums. So it means that if you have a server, a master, and a slave, you can just do a checksum. Uh, um, command or one and other, other, other one and uh, you can they are instant and you can easily check that your setup is um, okay and it, it also makes it real trivial to implement a feature that I always wanted to do in my in my school that when you do a check check some tables you can store that in the in the replica, replication log and when the when the uh, slave Sees, sees the command, it can automatically verify that your slave is identical to a master. That is, with this one, it's trivial and fast, fast to do. We are quite efficient to store it on disk just by uh, calculating a, more, uh, a, a lot of where we should allocate things. And we, have, we still want to have a small footprint on disk, just because small is better and usually faster when it comes to disk. So how does, does it uh, otherwise compare to MySM? So Maria 1.0, that's kind of gone, it's not even available. We are, we are working, half of us is working on Maria 1.5, and basically we are, all features are done. They have actually has been completed four months ago, and we basically have just had some bugs and, and some uh, small things that we have, we, we have uh, wanted to fix before we want to call it beta. And then we had had some issues in Sun that just has stopped us from doing the release. But the, the primary goal is to focus on quality, do something that is really stable, you can use. Uh, and then when we want to go beta, we want to be sure that we don't have to do any changes in the format on disk. So basically, you can just do upgrade and everything should work. When we add the full support from transactions, they, they should just work and you don't have to worry about to doing any dump or restore of tables. So, well, what do we have here? Okay. Uh, basically, you expect from a transaction engine. Uh, data index are, are crash safe. Uh, currently, because we, we have, in Maria 1.5, we have more or less about what you expect, except that we don't have a rollback. And that's basically the thing that we will add to, uh, to that server. So basically, we have auto commit, but we, we do have a rollback in case of crash. And we just basically make uh, Maria a classic version of MySM. We can replay the log either when we, when we restart or we, and we have a tool that you can replay the log with. That actually allows you to take a uh, copy of the table from one system, copy to the other one, and then just run, run the tool to um, apply the log, and, which actually makes it easy to do backups. And then we have some small optimizations co compared to my uh, The one thing that is unique with uh, Maria compared to all the storage source engines is that you can decide when you create a table, do you want to have a transactional or not? And that you do by saying create table and then your transactional zero 
or one. You can also say true or false. And um, if you do transaction equals zero, then you get uh, something that is, in practice, is identical to a my ASM table. And by having, the, having it as one, in that case, you get a, a transactional asset, tab, asset table. Because when you have not have a non-transactional table, you can actually save some space uh, within the rows because we don't have to store versioning information. We also don't need to do logging. So it, some things are notable faster uh, with the non-transactional version. And it also means that if you have a, a system and, you, and, uh, and you just want to use Maria, not MyASM, you can just convert all your MyASM tables, if you have such, to Maria with transaction that's uh, equals zero, and then you basically have something with a newer code base and uh, in many times should be slightly faster. And we also have lots of, lots of, lots of more checksums on page. And, uh, everything else. So uh, what's it, if you want to convert, what's the disadvantages? Um, we use uh, big log files and the reason for using big log files is just because we want to be able to run with uh, um, infinite length transactions. So basically we create log files, we, we reuse them, but if you are really long transaction we just create a new log file and new log file on demand. And we also have a bigger page um, size by, the, by default, which makes Maria somewhat faster than my ASML, in some cases somewhat slower in other cases. But the, the, the speed is roughly the same. We, we don't have still a repair with many threads for, for the new format. Uh, we don't support insert delayed, and that's uh, just something we, need, we, we plan to fix. And the full text index are not yet uh, crash safe. Uh, we may do that in 1.5 or uh, in 5.3 or not. We haven't yet decided if that's really critical. That depends on what our user wants. But we will definitely do that in, in 2.0. So in other words, uh, Maria will have everything that you expect from my ASM, which means uh, G is uh, full text indexes and everything else. We don't, uh, and these are just minor things that just uh, that we don't believe that should affect anybody. They are just listed here to show that these are the only changes that, uh, that you will see if you use uh, Maria instead of Myasm. So, what to do before beta? We have one critical bug, bugs, bug left to fix. Um, and we hope that uh, either January or but likely February when I'm back home, we'll do a better release. Uh, one thing that is uh, interesting is, uh, is that when we go beta, we also want to open the tree for outside, uh, outside developers and basically um, fix some of the issues that my, my SQL has had for years. And I'm going to work with Ari and our, our Delta to add, uh, to do a complete review of everything that is interesting and we believe it's safe, we'll add that to the Maria tree and also try to get community to participate in developing on this one. And we have already started the Maria 2.0, which is the uh, release that will be fully transactional in all parts. And we will, as soon as we have something that uh, where the new stuff works, we'll open it up. And the, the reason we don't want to open it up just now is that some of the formats are still changing and we don't want anybody to start using something and when we do a new release, so they have to do a b big upgrade. But that should just be questioned about uh, a month or so. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, uh, what this is trying to show is that the same way that MySQL can have different storage engines, uh, that was something that was unique with MySQL and that it actually could have different row, row formats. And by, that was one of the things that enabled us to relatively easy add uh, a new row format block that is used for the um, transactional part of Maria and um, also allows us to have a, a relatively good implementation of MySQL. So all, the, all MySQL code is more or less intact except small improvements um, uh, in 
Maria that also means that we haven't had a single bug in the, the Maya ISM emulation at all during the whole lifetime of Maria, which is pretty nice. And we, uh, all of those things that are mentioned that is uh, needed for transaction engine, the transaction manager, manager recovery, checkpoint handle, log handler, and, and all those code already exists. So we just uh, is an indication that we are really close to doing a full release. And here is a short description about uh, the new row format that we use for the transactional part, where you basically have a bitmap uh, in the beginning of the file, and then we have three different kind of pages. The head pages where you store the start of a row. We have tail pages where we start, store those things that doesn't fit into the head page. For example, if you have a, a row and then you extend it so it doesn't fit into the page anymore. We keep the, the, the first part of the row uh, in the, in, in the uh, all position just so we can find it without having to go and change the indexes. But uh, we, we keep uh, all, actually so, so as many things that we can fit into one page. And the same thing with blobs, we store the blobs uh, in uh, sequences uh, of up to 60 meg at a part, and the, the, the last part of the blog we store in a tail page, which uh, gives us a pretty efficient format compared to some other engines where if you have a tail, they take up a com complete, uh, uh, pay, complete page. And uh, after 256 megs, we need to have a new bitmap page for the rest of the file, and we extend that dynamically. Easy format, and the three bits, uh, uh, we need three bits per page, both to tell what kind of type of page that is, but also how full the page is. So when we allocate a new row, we can find it, find it quickly a page where it will fit. And this is just a description about some of the future, which is a really, really nice idea. How to do uh, beta indexes for data warehousing applications. So imagine that you have a thousand r uh, records. This is actually interesting for the Postgres people too, so you can wake up. So you have them. For each thousand uh, rows, you store for each field the mean value and the max value of the field. And for the next rows, you do the same. So basically, you have uh, two rows, uh, one row with all maximum field values, another row for one, uh, all the minimum val values of a field. And you continue for that for, for all rows. And that's really trivial to keep it up to date. But that means also that when you have a query and uh, that you can't use indexes, uh, you can very quickly to see that by just doing comparison with the min and max rows, is there any rows in these thousand rows and can match the query? And if not, you can just keep that in the query. So this is actually, for many of the database applications I have done in my life before MySQL, this could actually sp speed up most of those 10 or 100 times. Because you usually try to find uh, things that are abnormal in your data. Or data uh, is also, by the na nature, clust clustered. When you have a, have a uh, customers, they usually come at, the, at different uh, parts. If you have time intervals, they also get kind of clustered. It doesn't work for, ev for everything. The nice thing is that you get the basically a simple index on every single field you have in your table that is really easy to maintain and really easy to use. So, this is, uh, we have lots of information about Maria. All parts of the Maria is uh, we have done design documents, uh, they are described in the detail in the work log. All the discussions that we do are public. I'm keeping up things in my blog about the state where we are. And uh, the basic plan is to do a Maria 1.5 uh, that is based on the MySQL 5.1 code and this no called uh, GA and um, we will keep that up to date. We will use the same code base, uh, MySQL 5.1, um, for the Maria 2.0. And when that uh, is done, uh, the 2.0 version, that is a full version, transactional version, uh, we will see that should we add that to, Maria, uh, to MySQL 6.0 or not. 
or should you go into MySQL 6 uh, 1? That's not up to me to decide. But we are quite happy with where we are. We have got really good feedback for those people who have tested us. And um, we believe that, uh, the, that uh, this is something that should show the future of the, of the transaction engines. At least we will give uh, the other transaction engine a run for the money. So, questions? And for those who have been on the talk before, so uh, the, some of the slides are, uh, most of the slides are actually the same, but um, uh, the, the biggest change is actually, actually the, the timetable. And the, the reason for, for that, that uh, is that when Sun acquired us, uh, they have had some problem to where should they put the, the, the Maria team. Because we actually had two engines, and Sun couldn't see the reason for us to have, have which engine should actually they start to support for the future. So we have had lots of discussions within Sun that what should we do or um, and what shouldn't we do. And I also been part of the uh, trying to get Sun to understand my school and, and help with the integration between the different development uh, teams and the culture. It has taken too much uh, time for this than it should have done. But basically that part is uh, more or less done in February. We start to concentrate totally on this one until it's finished. So I believe that we'll be able to get to the next step pretty soon. No questions? Nobody awake? Okay, for, the, for those who want to do something different, uh, I hope that um, some local people here will help me to get some vodka uh, because uh, usually when I'm conferences I'm trying to provide something a little bit different to show the different culture that we have in Finland and we usually drink black vodka so I need to get just some vodka to, to, to prepare and then on some buff during this week we will provide uh, black vodka for those who are interested and who can handle it.